He's one of the top communicators online and a rising superstar in the world of social media. Ali Abdal, he has gone from being a university student and a medical doctor to being one of, if not the most successful productivity expert on YouTube. What can we learn from his communication skills? Let's take a look. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So this is one of my favorite books. It's called Someday is Today and it's filled with- One of the things you notice about him is he sounds like he's talking to one friend. He sounds like he's in a coffee shop just chatting away. And yet everything he says is highly intelligent, thought out, planned, although he's not reading a teleprompter. Now by background, he has 4.8 million subscribers as of the day we're shooting this. And his channel is growing astronomically He's publicly on track to surpass last year's revenue where he made $5 million through various revenue streams. So he's, he's clearly highly successful, but he does have his own style. As you've noticed, he speaks relatively quickly. Let's listen more. With incredibly actionable, helpful, practical advice for achieving more of the things we want in life. It's written by an incredible guy called Matthew Dix, who has survived three near-death experiences, including a ridiculously bad car crash and also being held at gunpoint at the age of... So look how he's leaning on his elbows. He's conversational. He seems relaxed. Now this is a set in his own apartment in London. It's nicely lit. His face is very clear. But it's a relatively simple production and he's typically just wearing a t-shirt he's at this point now what most people would consider very wealthy grossing five million a year netting a couple of million dollars a year profit but he's not feeling the need to put on some savile row suit or show off fancy toys but a beautifully lit room and he keeps things relatively simple his production is simple nice background music but he's not doing Mr. Beast videos way out and doing crazy things. He's really just talking. So being held at gunpoint at the age of 22. And these experiences forced him to reconsider what he was doing with his life and what he achieved. And he went from being someone who was completely broke, living in his car and working at McDonald's to becoming a best-selling author, world champion storyteller and award-winning journalist. I was So in this part, he may actually have this written out as a script, because in my mind, this doesn't sound completely conversational, but for the vast, vast majority of his videos, he does sound like he's just having a conversation. And that means pauses, repetitions, thoughtful asides. And that's what makes him interesting to listen to, whether he's doing a two minute video, 30 seconds short, or a two hour podcast. It's always conversational. Now he does have nice, simple use of graphics that spice up the talking head video, but he doesn't overwhelm people with- Today is today. These are seven tips that will help you achieve more of what you want in life. Let's get into it. Tip number one, the parking lot practice. So when I first started writing my book, Feel Good Productivity, uh, I felt like I had to do it in the right environment. So look at the natural smile and the movement. He's not having the, the book image just show up automatically. He's not afraid to stop pick up the book and show it to people. By the way, I've pre-ordered his book, not a review copy, I, I gladly paid for it. I am gonna do another video shortly where I predict his book will become a number one New York Times bestseller and a number one USA Today, number one Wall Street Journal bestseller and presumably the top of the bestseller list in London as well. Because he is such a powerful communicator and has done such an excellent job communicating with his audience and building a true community of people who care about his ideas. So I, I can't recommend the book be, by saying it's great content, but having looked at his content and watched it for now, only a few months, but hundreds of his videos, I can't imagine that it's not going to be a great book. And I feel very confident in predicting it is going to be a huge runaway bestseller. Environment. I felt like I had to go into a coffee shop and have my little latte next to me and my headphones on. And I wanted the environment to be perfect. Otherwise, you know, for some reason, I felt this writer's block and I felt like... He always is moving his hands. One of the biggest myths out there is that good communicators, professional communicators should move their hands. He uses his hands almost like a symphony conductor. They're always moving. They're high. 
low, wide, and they are very expansive in their movement. And I felt like I way, couldn't do the thing. In a way that makes him seem completely comfortable, confident, and relaxed. I couldn't do the thing. But Matthew's approach to this is completely different, and his approach has actually changed the way that I approach my creative work, and I think you can get a lot of value from this as well. And one of my favorite quotes from the book is that productivity is not pretty. Now, we've all seen those examples of like, you know, the students that are like doing their notes in like the most elaborate, colorful method possible. We've seen those sketch notes. See that this just does not sound scripted. He's living it, he's sharing it, his hands are moving. He's not afraid to look down in the moment. So everything he's doing is coming across as conversational and, and relaxed. Now, interesting thing about his voice, he does technically speak faster than I typically recommend to people. He speaks in such a clear way, such a distinctive way. And by putting his pauses in proportionally, the right way compared to his other flow, it's easy to understand most of the time. Many people speak quickly, even the same speed as his, and it's hard to understand. It's all blurring together. He will rush occasionally, but he's not afraid to pause and slow down. It's that variation in his speed that makes the whole context of it still work and come across well. We've seen all these people with their like incredibly pretty desks and everything, and it just looks like such a productive vibe and it looks very pretty. But the point that Matthew is making is that true productivity does not have to look pretty. And the example that he talks about in the book is where he was early for a dentist appointment. And so instead of just sort of waiting in the car or like scrolling TikTok, or whatever the thing was, instead of doing that, he decided to just sit on the side of the road in the parking lot, get out his laptop and continue writing some more of the novel that he was working on. During World War One, there were men in- So great lesson for all of us. He's not going out and hiring a film crew and spending a fortune making a movie. This is simple B-roll that anyone could get, but he's not relying on just talking kit. He is illustrating his key points, giving his, his examples, but it, there's a simplicity to it. He's really just talking. He's delivering insights. Now he has his own sites a lot, but he also delivers the insights of productivity books and books on habits that he admires and respects, but he does it in a way where it doesn't sound like just a boring book review. He's delving into the insights, giving practical examples, and doing it like what I would imagine, your smartest friend from college, and you haven't seen in a few months, and you get together for coffee, hey, what's new? This is that guy who's really smart, really interesting, and you wanna listen to it. And even if you're busy for another appointment, you're like, hey, do you have time for another coffee? Because this guy is just, fascinating to listen to. And it's not because he is I mean, he's, he's, you know, younger and better looking than I am, but it's not because he's the best looking guy or the tallest or most muscular or any of that. It's because of his ideas. And you hear in the tone of his voice and a, 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 a passion for the ideas. And you hear in the tone a passion for sharing those ideas to help people get better. And that's why he is such a compelling communicator. Well, Ali Abdal is a fantastic communicator. I would highly recommend if you want to improve your own communication skills, especially if you aspire to be an online communicator on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn, any of online platforms, spend a little time watching this guy because he has gone from nowhere to superstar status in a relatively quick period of time. And here we are in now November of 2023. A couple of years from now, he may be a household name. I certainly think he's on par with getting up with the James Clears of the world, the author of Atomic Habits, who has sold his book to tens of millions of people. I can't predict that Ali Abdel's book is going to be that successful, but I do predict it's going to be a huge international bestseller in part not because it's the best written book, and it might be the best written book, I haven't read it yet, but because of his ability to speak, his ability to communicate on a daily basis with people all over the world who watch his videos. So for that reason, I do recommend that you learn from him, watch him regularly, not to copy him or mimic him, but to get ideas on how you can communicate even more effectively. And also, frankly, it's just great motivation 
I mean, here was a guy who did everything the traditional way. He was an immigrant. He was born in Pakistan, spent time growing up in South Af Africa, then moved with his family to Great Britain, excelled in school. He's obviously highly intelligent. Number one in his class, graduate from Cambridge Medical School, had a job as a doctor in the British system, making, by his accounts, about $35,000 a year. Started doing as a side hobby, but it grew and grew and grew and grew. And all of a sudden, he's like, hmm, I'm making a million dollars a year on YouTube, $36,000 a year as a full-time doctor. I think I'll go and deeper. I think I'll go deeper in YouTube. And he abandoned his medical practice or his job as a doctor to go YouTube full time. And it certainly seems like it's working out well for him because he is, I believe, helping millions of people all around the world with his insights, his motivation, and his helpful productivity tips. So check him out. I'm TJ Walker. Thanks so much for joining me. If you got any value out of this, please like this video, subscribe, sign up for notifications, share the video. If you don't like YouTube and someone drug you here to watch this, but you like Facebook or something else, I do post videos every single day on basically every major platform. So whether you're on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, if you could search for TJ Walker success, you will find my channel or my home on that platform. Please like it there, subscribe to it there, leave comments there. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.